Ever since D&D emerged into the world in the 1970s, there has been a magic around it. I have loved D&D from the first moment I saw the very first D&D book I picked up in my hands. It has become a part of me. I think that a lot of people can relate to that. Like, it's part of my personality now. I brought my copy of the original D&D basic set that my friend and I bought in 1979. His mom wrote our names in it here. <laughs> <laughs> if I could go back and tell 11-year-old me that I'm a project lead and a senior designer on d and I, I, I wouldn't believe myself. To be a part of something that has made such a huge impact in folks' lives is pretty special. I'm also 50 now this year, and so uh, 50th anniversary, I feel like I grew up with Dungeons and Dragons. What I want to say to the community is just thank you for making D&D what it is. We wouldn't be here without you, so thank you all very much. So thank you for rolling dice, for telling stories, for sharing stories together, for, for being a community. As a 5e player, I wouldn't have learned the game without all of you that have come before me. You are the beating heart of the game. Uh, you are what makes it magical. It's a warm community. It's an accepting community. The D&D community is full of so many talented, wonderful people. Thank you for always having an open table and being willing to teach the kid that has no clue what's going on. You have made this game. This game is yours. And thank you for letting me be a part of that. I can and have talked at length about how important I think imagination is to being human. When we come together and tell stories together, we are drawn into something bigger than ourselves and better than ourselves. It gives me the tools to just kind of make things my own and tell my own stories the way that I want to tell them. You know, imagining my own character, you know, like how does it live in this world? How does it react? It really ignites that imaginative spirit that a kid has where you kind of can put everything behind you and you just get to play. It's that instant connection that we have, we have had a shared experience that we can talk about. Uh, they can tell me about their barbarian, I can tell them about that time I did bad things to, you know, a barbarian. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all of our books, all of our adventures, any of the art you see, it has a little piece of everybody that put something into it. I am always trying to make something that someone younger is going to pick up and go, wow. I want to get lost in here. Our goal here is to create the game that you want to play. And I encourage you to continue to tell us what you want to play so that we can make that game. Jump in, roll some dice, and let your imagination run wild. It is the most freeing and wonderful experience in my life, and it is one I hope you can have too.